From outside the courthouse to inside the courtroom, the key witness in Donald Trump's hush money case faced tough questions from the defense team. The credibility of Michael Cohen was immediately attacked. The lead defense lawyer pressed Trump's former fixer about his social media posts, his attempts to make money off his association with Trump and his desire to see the former president behind bars. Cohen's testimony has linked Trump to all aspects of a hush money scheme that prosecutors say was aimed at stifling stories that threatened his 2016 campaign. All right, let's discuss this with legal expert and criminal attorney Tama Cudman. Tama, good to see you. Uh, so how important is Cohen's testimony and how do you think he's doing? So it's crucial testimony. Um, the general appraisal of his uh, performance so far is that he's done a lot better than most people anticipated. His demeanor was calm. He answered the questions directly. He has not gotten frazzled. Uh, my understanding is that generally his appearance was credible and that he's done a very good job. Um, importantly, the prosecutor set up his testimony by bringing in other witnesses first so that his testimony really became corroborative. And we all know that there are a lot of credibility issues with respect to Mr. Cohen. And so that was an important strategy by the prosecution. Yeah, I, I want to jump off of that about his credibility issues. I mean, he did admit to lying under oath. So, you know, how can the prosecution really convince a jury that he's a credible witness? Well, and, and the classic question there is, are you a liar? And if he answers yes, then he's confirmed that he's a liar. And if he answers no, we already know that he's lied. And so there's no good answer for that. So the real problem here, though, for Mr. Trump is he was his liar. And he was firmly a member of Donald Trump's camp, his world. He was his fixer. And so to the extent that this man lacks credibility, the the defense has to be careful here because again he was Mr. Trump's liar. Yeah, and, and the former uh, president's lawyer is cross-examining Cohen, as you know. What kind of defense strategy is he using here? In terms of the cross-examination, what we're going to see first is an attack on the credibility. What's the motive, right? Why is he lying? He's a liar, and why is he lying? He hates him. So he's been taking him through all of the posts that he put on on Twitter, um, in social media, in live news appearances, uh, Mr. Cohen has made it very clear that he now hates the former president. He's made no bones about that. And so right now, the, the apparent strategy is to display that motive. He hates him and he wants to see him behind bars, right? And then that calls into question everything that he's testified about. So I would expect that once they get off of those general credibility attacks and motive attacks, we're going to start seeing uh, the defense get into the nitty gritty details of his testimony. We're almost out of time, Tama, but if you were trying this case, um, what would you do? I mean, would you do anything differently? There's quite a bit that I would do differently. Uh, and, and I don't think we have enough time to go into it. Um, but I think the big question is going to be whether or not the defense is going to have Mr. Trump testify, uh, which I would not do. So I, I, I don't know if we have the time to get into what I would have done differently thus far, but certainly I would be urging the president not to testify at this point. And I, I just don't know what the plan is for the defense. Yeah, well, Tamara, great to be with you. Always great to get your insights. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you.